Well, new tonight, Laughlin is about to run out of groceries. Its only supermarket is about to close its doors. And 13 Action News reporter Ashton Mendez now tells you what's going to happen to the people who shop there. After more than 30 years, Aldapis will close its doors. And even though authorities are giving other options, some residents are worried about their future. It's a long walk for Orville and his shopping cart. Yesterday, he bought $160 of groceries. Today, not that much, even with the big discounts the store has. It's a shame they're going to close it down today. And the yeah, only thing people buy there worked a lot, meat and vegetables. For others, it's not only the fresh produce, but also an emotional connection they'll lose. Whether I shop across the river, I go in every day to see Linda and Bobby and, you know, Sue and Marie and Kevin and all the others. I mean, it's a little town. We know each other. Aldapes is closing after feeling the effects of COVID-19, but Orval says he will have to manage now. It's a life. Yeah. One place closed down, another one opened. You never know. The closest grocery store is across the river, about 13 miles away in Arizona. Stay home and starve? Mm -mm. No, people have to eat. People, our seniors take medicine. They have to have those. Those are essential. Clark County Commissioner Michael Naft says there are a couple of options for Laughlin residents. Silver Rider will now offer a bus trip on Saturdays to Safeway and Walmart in Bullhead City, Arizona. Buses that can normally accommodate 14 individuals are now at uh, five people in total. They're doing it, like I said, on a reservation policy to keep people spaced out. Also, there are county programs that could make a difference for these families. Uh, and then a lot of them can uh, take advantage of the programs that Clark County has helped fund through Three Square through the Colorado River Food Pantry for those emergency services. If you need them, don't be bashful. Take advantage of those services. The long term is to have another grocery store that could serve the residents of this area. But in the meantime, people here in Laughlin will have to look for other ways to get the food they need. Reporting from Laughlin, Astrid Mendez, 13 Action News.